Cobalt's chance in hell of getting a call through, ma'am. Excuse me? Tickets, please. Oh, yes. Uh, here you are, sir. A cold winter. I thought the planet was supposed to be heating up. I think we have a few centuries before we'll need to be wearing shorts in December. Now, how are you, little princess? Have you been good? Because the big red sleigh driver's coming tonight. <laughs> Santa Claus. Chris Kringle. Father Christmas. She's verbally challenged. Uh, she can't speak. But she's really looking forward to Christmas. Don't they all at that age? We'll be at Silver City Station in five minutes. You have a good day now. We will. Thank you. And Merry Christmas. Amy, don't be afraid. He was just checking on us to see if we're okay. And he was right. It's Christmas Eve. I have a present for you. It's the latest thing. It should be even better than the pencils and crayons you had at the Phoenix Center. I... Oh, Amy. It's nothing. You're... You're never going back to the center. I promise. I'm taking you somewhere safe. Hello? Alana, I've been worried. Did you get out? Yes, both of us. We're in the train. We'll be there soon. So, how is she? She's... I'm not sure. Same symptoms. Fatigue, insomnia. But she's distant. It's getting worse. Lana, I'm calling you from the best hospital within a thousand kilometers. We've got everything we need to run a complete checkup. We'll figure it out. We'll know what's going on, and we can confront Professor Raymond with- Listen! She's with me now! We're not confronting anyone. He won't touch her again. I'm coming to you to help her get better. Are we clear on that? Of course, Lana. I'm with you. When you get to the hospital, go through the parking garage. The badges I gave you won't work anywhere, but I don't want to take any chances with you coming through the front lobby. The professor has eyes that see far beyond the center. Do you have the security badges? Lana? Are you there? Yes, Ellen, I'm here, but... What? What is it, Amy? <gasps> what was that? Did you see it? I saw an explosion from my window! Near the Phoenix Center! Lana, you didn't... No, we just left. I saw something on fire just fly over us, an airplane maybe. Ellen, I think Amy... Silver City Station. Please do not forget any personal belongings on the train. Do not agree to carry luggage for a stranger. Be wary of pickpockets. Have a nice day. Amy! Where is she? I need to find her. Where are you?
Amy! Amy! Amy, it's me, Lana! Over here. Hey there, Missy. You sure look healthy, except maybe for the cuts and bruises. I'm okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. I need to find a little girl. Have you seen anyone? You're the first normal person I've seen in hours. Uh, where did you lose her? She was on the train with me. That train that came crashing in here full of monsters? You look like you hit your head there, miss. You sure you was traveling with a little girl? I need to find her. Her name is Amy. Help me. Or hide. I'm gonna find her. My name's Marcello. I, I can help you. I was just heading to the station monitoring office. The cell network's down. But I'm sure they got some fixed lines over there we can use to call somebody. I got a pal. Or I hope I still got a pal that works there. Maybe your little girl went that way. Just help me look for Amy. wants to find you, so we can all go on and get away from all these monsters. It's the only way out of here, but we need to find a way to cut the power. Follow me, I've got an idea. Another genetic lock. Here, take this. It's a DNA cracker. Start by scanning the box with it. Okay, now look at the dots on the radar that light up. You need to scan them to find the right sample. Let's go. I'll follow you. Just go to one of them dots. is particularly strong. If you're forced to go through them, go slowly and don't tire yourself, or the sickness will get you quicker. The syringes will slow down the contamination, but it's only they don't want to be lazy and around here. This place stinks of that pesty infection. It's not the right one. Let's go look in some more. DNA synchronizer. I suppose I can tell you a secret, but with it being the end of the world, I wasn't always a good I mean, I always been a crime. Let's just say that uh, I used to work with some people with uh, connections. Anyway, this thing it can get you through all these fancy new DNA locks. You just need to find a sample of DNA of the person it's authorized to let in.
Access granted. Fantastic! The juice is down. Now we'll be able to get through the grill. It's good. You just have to push on the button to open the door. There's no danger. Uh, <clears throat> uh, ladies first! was a little girl. You must be Amy. It's okay, Amy. Hello there, Amy. My name's Marcello, but my friends just call me Cello, and you can call me Cello because you's a friend. It's time for all these monsters, huh? She can't speak. She's not well. We need to get to the hospital. Hey, we all needs to get to the hospital, lady. Why don't we try finding a phone first? I know where there's a whole bunch of them. Come on, you just follow me. He's gonna need someone small enough to pass through the hole and open it up from the inside. Push the button, Amy. You did it! Bravo, Amy!
Amy, let's see if you can figure this out. It's just like the code game we play in the center. Oh, this little scratch? Don't let it scare you, Amy. I got it from my last client. Can you believe that? A regular. I ask Mrs. Jenkins for my fare, and she up and sinks her teeth into me. Twenty years I've been driving, and nobody ever bit me. Not even when I was driving the docks in Jersey. I'm so proud of you, Amy. You did. No sooner do I get away from Mrs. Jenkins when your train comes crashing into the station. Talk about a bad day. Just as the dust was settling and the first rescue workers were blocking off the crash, the monsters come this way. We're almost there. Oh, f uh, fudge. The way to the security PC is cut off. We need to go around. Wait for me with Marcello, Amy. I won't be long. Such a brave girl. We're getting out of here. Yeah, these army soldiers got to show up. Phoenix men, I think. And they started mowing these monsters down. <laughs> Just my luck. I get knocked on the head running for a newsstand. I wakes up, buried in magazines and newspapers. I see that everybody been evacuated. Everybody would be that is. Well, the monsters. These soldiers locked all the, the, the freaking doors when they left, and you can't get out. I tried all of them. And then I heard you calling out for the little girl. I said to myself, no monster be calling out for a little girl. Push the button, Amy. Bravo. And here, Amy, stick close to me. Run for it.
straight! At the end of the hall, turn left! No door is smart enough to beat Cello and his magic key. After use, ladies. You ain't. You did. soldiers in the area. I'm gonna see if we can get some help. You two stand back now. I'll take care of this. <laughs> We're not sick. They's gonna see that. Marcello, we don't know who they are yet. Hush now. It'll be okay. You two hide just in case it goes wrong. Beat up! I'm not infected! My name's Marcello, but my friends call me Cello. You know, like those great big violins. Silence, please. We need to run an identity check. Caucasian. 110, 130 kilos, mid 40s. Survival class. No signs of transformation. Awaiting orders. You already have your orders, dammit. Find, recover, extract. Roger. Targeting. Oh, shit. We've got movement detected on the southbound metro platform. Get your ass down there. Move out. In pairs. Red team lead. I want a large perimeter once we get to the gallery. They've gone, Amy. Thank you, Marcello. I'm so sorry.
There's a blue key card in that room. Huh. The windows seem to have been cracked by the accident. Amy? That's Amy's lamp. Amy? I can hear you crying, dear. She must be close. <laughs> Amy. Oh. I'm pleased I found you. Listen. Everything's gonna be okay. I promise. There, there. Dry your tears. Everything's going to be all right. We're going to meet up with Ellen soon. Let's get to the security room and we'll give her a call. Just to make sure she's waiting for us. What is it, Amy? Do you want to draw this? Did the professor teach you something about these? <laughs> they... they don't look... Wait! We use simpler versions at the center to indicate the psionic wards. Only this one's more elaborate, more detailed.
That's a good girl. Bravo. This is a game for you, Amy. Can you help us out? Security room is written here. We're real close. We're going to call Ellen for some help.
Connect yourself to the terminal. We need to find a way to open it up. Amy, you're such a brave girl! We're getting out of here. Foundation are not going to have a solution for, in spite of what they may try and tell us. Mankind has known that this day is coming for over 2,000 years. There's no waiting this one out. It's not going to go away. If you can hear this message, then you're a survivor. You've been chosen chosen to live. God and his church are on your side. The first thing is getting yourself This is a game for you, Amy. Can you help us out? We are at war with true evil. That's a good one. Bravo!
Jamming the communication signals. I need to find out what. I can't get through to Ellen. Something is jamming the communication signals. I need to find out what. John, the scrambler in the server room is starting to show signs of wear and tear. Go take a look at it, will you? Now we just need to find that server room, Amy. We're going to cut the scrambler, and then we can call Ellen. A scrambler is a machine that jams signals. Let's go. I'll show you. Wait for me here, Amy. I'm going to go around, and I'll come back to you on the other side. Amy, you're such a brave girl. We're getting out of here.
gonna work, Amy. This is gonna work. Hello? Ellen? This is Lana. Can you hear me? Dr. Lavinia, there's someone calling for you on the emergency frequency. Lana? Is that you? Are you all right? We're alive, if that counts. Is Amy okay? Amy is... She's... Changing. But listen, Ellen, it's a nightmare here. Is there any way you can send someone to get us? The people in my train were infected. I think Phoenix has something to do with it. The professor has sent out his army. The whole city has been contaminated. We're barricaded in the hospital, trying to figure this out. It's not behaving like a virus. It's not a contagion. It's like there was some sort of spontaneous genetic mutation. The professor has something to do with it, and I just... Ellen! Ellen! So They're static! Anna, you need to get to the hospital so that I can run some tests on Amy. We stick to the same plan as before. We're trapped. The power's out and we're locked in. There are Phoenix soldiers everywhere. And they're after Amy! Wait, wait. Wait a minute, Lana. I've got George here. I'm gonna ask him if he can hack into the station's grid. Maybe locate you. Amy, it's going to be just fine. Dr. Lavinia is figuring out a way to get us some help. Lana, we've got you on a map. There's an elevator that should take you up to the shopping galleries. The metros are working. Do you think you can make it to the northbound? Come on, Amy. We've got another train to catch. Ellen's cut off. We're cut off. There's infected zombies and trigger-happy soldiers everywhere. We're never going to... I'm sorry, Amy. I'm a little... overworked. I promise to take you somewhere safe. I keep my promises. The metros are on automatic pilot. There's one running every 15 minutes. You just need to get down to one. Take the north line, seven stations. There's an entrance directly into the hospital. Okay, Amy. We need to get up onto the roof. You can do it. That's good. Now wait here. I won't be long.
Donna? We've got this weird theory we're going over. It looks like the only people who are turning into these monsters are citizens born in Silver City. It's weird. Have you noticed anything? Right, Ellen. I'll ask the next zombie where he was born before he bites me. Ellen, it's me. I found these syringes full of something that keeps the infection from developing. I think they're metastims. The Phoenix soldiers are equipped with them. I should You've be been able shooting to cut yourself up with those? System How many did you car. take? It must be white as like a Christmas tree, Lana. Listen, you... Out of whack, if you... Sleep is the last thing on my mind right now, Ellen. Have you learned anything? I'll run out by the team. If we can't figure out a way to reverse the mutation process. It's not a normal infection, Lana. It's manipulating your genes. I just don't know how it works, how it flags the pattern. Why it only affects some people and not others. They were waiting for me. Damn!
I'm so sorry to put you through all this, Amy. You're so brave. Thank you. Amy's telekinetic powers are increasing, Ellen. They're more powerful than her best scores in the center, by at least a magnitude. I'll need to run a battery of tests to understand what's been done to her. You're certain that she's showing no signs of infection? No, it's the opposite. Well, she heals me every time I get sick. She's become a cure for the virus, at least for me.
Now, this is going to be a challenge, Amy. It's like one of those games we played at the center. Let's put our brain caps on. So proud of you, Amy. You did it! For me, Amy. I'm not going far.
That's a brave girl. You can do it. You don't have to worry about the Professor anymore. You just need to get to Ellen. I'm taking you there. stations and we're there, Amy. Are you counting them? Mm -hmm. It's going to be all right. Dr. Lavinia is going to help us. <laughs> Professor, the target is moving in the metro, heading north. We've lost him. Mm -hmm. This is most disappointing. Gather your so-called troops and get them to Golden Cross Station. They're headed for the hospital. I wonder who Lana's friends are. Well, they'll be making an unexpected stop. Damn you to hell. Ellen, can you hear me? Ellen! Lana, are you at St. John's Station? I don't think so. The train has stopped. Can you tell me where you are? Give me a clue or something and I'll give you directions. You can't be far from St. John's. Okay, I'll keep you posted as soon as I figure it out. Are you there? I just found a map. I think we're at Golden Cross Station. Damn! 
It's two blocks from the hospital. Okay, there are two exits. Take the one that says west. The streets there should be safer. I sure hope so. Amy, we're going to play a game. You're going to hide in the train, and I'm going to go around and come and get you from the other side. All right? Sound like fun? We're almost there. We're looking for the east exit so we can go and find Ellen.
That's it, Amy. You can do it. Girl, we're getting out of here. Something is blocking the door from behind. I can't open it. See anything? Can you open it? Hurry! Terrible mistake. You don't have all the information. Professor, leave us alone. I won't let you hurt her anymore. I would never hurt Amy. She's the future of humanity. We need to meet. Let me explain. I've already seen your explanation. It's been trying to kill me ever since I left the center. What have you done? Are you insane? You destroyed a city because of Amy? These events surpass even my understanding, but they seem to be inevitable. I've always known that this day would come. I am not the cause, but Amy is the effect. She is my greatest accomplishment. I'll never let you touch Amy again. Lana! Lana! You're giving me no choice!
I would love to just come up, Ellen. But we can't get through to the front doors. The passage is blocked. Okay. There's an access through the basement. But I'm not sure that it's clear. Dr. Jonas took a group out that way, and I haven't heard back from him. That's good enough for me. I'll find it. Let's go in. Amy, I know they're scary, but I'm going to get you to the hospital. You'll be safe there, I promise.
match. He's coming. It's just like a game, Amy. We have to hide and then run. And we can't get caught. Some water near this electrical outlet. Power is out. I need to get it back up. Raymond had been doing to Amy, Ellen could. And knowing what was wrong was halfway to making her better. Whatever he's looking for, he was willing to destroy a town to discover it. I had kept my promise to a little girl. She was in good hands now. But somehow I knew it wasn't over. Amy has become a part of me. And I won't let anyone hurt her. Not anyone. Ever again. Get your ass down there. Roger. Move out.
Hello, ladies. It looks like you could use some divine intervention. Thank you. 